65th annual Cannes Film Festival just wrapped up this past weekend, and our movie critic, David Plummer, was in the south of France to check it all out, and he joins us this morning. Good morning, David. Hello, hello. Good. So, wh why were you there? You know what? I was there for this movie called Moonrise Kingdom. It's uh, from a director called named Wes Anderson, who's done all these movies from, like, Rushmore to the Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah. He's got, you know, a great cast in the movie, and they asked me to come out there to interview the cast of the film. So very I, nice. I got there. It was very nice. There's, there are some perks in this job. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. Tough job, somebody's got to do it. That's so, uh, right. What's the film about? Uh, you know, it's about these two kids uh, that essentially fall in love and they run away together and the whole town has to kind of get together to try to track them down. Now, it's sort of a light movie. It's a comedy. It's a really quirky. So, uh, you know, it's an interesting film and I got to go to France to talk to the cast. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Hey everybody, David Plummer here in the south of France for a regular segment I'm hoping becomes a yearly segment called A Fat Guy in France. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what the Cannes Film Festival is all about? Well, the world's most prestigious film festival takes place in the south of France, where a virtual who's who of Hollywood flock to premiere their big budget blockbusters, and where unknown filmmakers travel in hopes of getting a distribution deal. Cannes also happens to be known for its lavish parties. I'm at the after party for Moonrise Kingdom, the Bill Murray movie. Uh, I'm not supposed to have a camera here, so if I get arrested, I'm thrown in jail. You'll know why. And some world famous beaches. And it's true, there are a lot of topless beaches here. Unfortunately, most of the people I've seen topless, I would not like to see topless. I never want to see topless. The ones you want to see topless are the ones that keep their tops on. So, having said that, I will likely be topless at some point. That would just make sense. I traveled to Cannes to interview the people behind the opening night film, Moonrise Kingdom including director Wes Anderson. Hi, how are you? Edward Norton. How are you doing? And Jason Schwartzman. Hello. Who's missing? Shukuski, you in there? Jiminy Cricket, he flew the coop. That's a loaded question. All of your movies, it seems like you work, you have a, a, a regular cast that comes in for you, and obviously one of the guys is Bill Murray, uh, who doesn't seem to want to work for everybody, so that, that must feel good that he's a guy that, that seems to come to you when, when yeah. you need him. Yeah, what could be better? Yeah. I don't know how that happened, but I looked into it. <laughs> yeah, but now, you know, you know, I, 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 we've known each other for a long time now, um, and we've done, we've done six movies together. Kind of gets, kind of becomes a better and better experience every time. You're responsible for his safety. I'm told that he's just been struck by lightning. It's the first I've heard of it. It's true. When we were making the film, Wes was definitely the camp counselor, you know? It's like everybody gets suited up and they come in and, and he kind of says, okay, you know, here's where our, our hike today is, is going. We're going to take that hill. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I, I kind of actually liked being led uh, more than leading. You can't enter into this lightly. Look into my eyes. Do you love each other? Yes, we do. But, but think about what I'm saying. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, we are. Okay, they're not listening to me. Wes's movies, just as a fan, occupy a certain space for me in the in the movie world. And his style of um, comedy or whatever you want to call them, it just, I don't know, it just fits me. I like the, I like the way he does it. The year is 1965. And I even got a chat with Chicago's own Bob Balaban, who narrates the movie and has a small on-camera role. I'm very identified with Chicago. I loved my school. I went to the Latin school. Um, I loved. I studied at Second City when I was in high school in Chicago. So I think I had the ultimate Chicago experience. And I'm uh, I'm a very dyed-in-the-wool Chicago guy. How did I feel about my first trip to Cannes? I think Jason Schwartzman sums it up best. This is your second time here, I think? This is my right? second time here, yeah. A little overwhelming for you, the premiere and everything else? Yeah, I mean, it's like I'm walking around and everybody looks so put together and uh, there's, the ocean is beautiful and it's overwhelmingly incredible. Excellent. I definitely don't fit in here. <laughs> you? Come on, look at no. me. Hey, listen, <laughs> I feel like just very, I feel like I'm going to get like kicked out. I feel like I'm going to have an and stay out moment very right soon. Well, speaking of getting kicked out, I think that's all my time. Thank you Thank so, you much, so much. Have a nice day. Appreciate it. Man. Good luck.
Bruce Willis or Bill Murray? Yeah, Bruce Willis was only there for the red carpet event, uh, but then I did bump into Bill Murray, but uh, I introduced myself and he just didn't have time for an interview. Bill, we love you. Please come on Windy City Live. We'd love mm -hmm. to have you on the show. Yeah. Hey, there you go, your people. They want you. And I know you have a big event tonight. Uh, no, it's actually tomorrow night. It's uh, it's w in conjunction with the uh, Chicago International Film Festival. It's called The Cine Youth, and I'm going to be sitting down with the director of a movie called 5050, which was on my top 10 list last year. Uh, the director's name is Jonathan Levine. Everybody should check it out. Go to cineyouth.org, I believe. No, I'm sorry, cinemachicago.org for tickets. It's five bucks if you're over 22. If you're under 22, it's free. It's going to be a lot of fun. A Q&A with him, and uh, people should check it out. All right, sounds good. Thanks, David. Thank you. We'll be right back. More Wendy. City Live straight ahead. Up next from Kiss FM.